I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Executioner Wasp. Here we go. Stop burning! The Executioner is king! All great journeys eventually find their end. When we are talking about my climb up the renowned insect sting pain index, it seemed as if this end would never be found. It all began with an onslaught of harvester ants. This series of stings was quickly followed up with my hands being plunged into an even more painful swarm of burning fire ants. Ow! 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 Oh! One would think I had learned my lesson, yet determination drove me onward. As I crested past the cow killer and ascended to the towering heights Ow! of the tarantula hawk, this alien-looking wasp put me on the ground. Literally. Yet I got back up, dusted myself off, and kept going. Oh, I am lightheaded at the moment, and at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. The end was finally in sight, and it came in the shadow of a giant ant. As I summited the final peak of Sting Mountain, the world watched with clenched fists and gritted teeth as I went forearm to venomous stinger with the notorious bullet ant. Hailed as the most painful sting in the world, I had survived the bullet ant challenge. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! My mission of climbing this mountain, strewn with agonizing insect stings, had seemingly come to an end. Yet rumors of a more painful sting, that of the warrior wasp, haunted the comments of every video posted on the Brave Wilderness channel. So we filmed the sequel, and truth be told, it wasn't nearly as painfully memorable as the bullet ate. Ah! Ah, sharp shooting pain! Yet much to my dismay, what appeared to be the final chapter in this saga was nothing more than a prelude that led to the moment in time where I encountered the Executioner Wasp. Mark, you rolling? Yep. Come here, come here, come here. Look at this. What is it? Look at this. I don't know what it is. Oh. They look like giant hornets. They're absolutely enormous. We literally just finished filming the Warrior Wasp episode. We're coming back out of the jungle. We pass by this little kind of overhang that has a swimming pool here. This is huge. This could be a totally new species. I've never seen this species of wasp or hornet or whatever it is before. I think we got to catch one and try to identify it, though. What do you think? Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, got my net literally in my hand. Um, there's only two of them. So the good news is we're not going to get swarmed. I think if I can scare one off the nest, I can scoop it up. All right. Should we get a try? Let's try it. All right. I don't think they're that aggressive. They, uh, they seem to be holding their ground. Well, if you were that big, you probably would hold your ground too. And I'm guessing that the sting that comes from that giant has got to be painful. Should I stand back? Yeah, you stand back, you stand back. I'm gonna use the same tactic I used for the warrior wasp. Hold on. Watch, uh, watch up above me there, Mario. Make sure they don't come swarming down at me. Okay, so this is the aquapod. We usually use this underwater. I'm gonna use it to tempt one of them off of the nest, and then just like I did with the warrior wasp, swoop it up. If I run, you run. Got it? Got it. There's only two of them. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna try to scare this one down that's just off the edge. It's right on the end of the aquapod. Look at that. Wow, it is massive. Look at that thing. I've got a little capsule. 
right in my bag right here. I am gonna get it inside of the net and then get it into the capsule. Oh, it is looking it's abdomen's happy. pulsing. It's not happy. Hold on, let me get it inside the net. Look at the size of that insect. Wow, that is impressive. Looks pretty menacing. Yes, it does. Much more intimidating looking than the warrior wasp. I have never seen this species before, guys, so we are actually going to take it back to base camp and we're gonna have to look this up. What about its sting? I mean, do we know anything? I know absolutely nothing. And as far as I can tell, this is not something that is ranked on the insect sting pain index. Because you've never seen anything like this. Never before in my life. This is absolutely crazy. Quite possibly a new species. Whoa. The eastern mountainous slopes of Costa Rica seem to be a world swarming with stinging insects. And if bullet ants and warrior wasps were not enough, the remote, untamed wilds of this rainforest ecosystem had one more painful sting up their sleeve. With an intimidating specimen safely contained within the viewing capsule, we returned to our jungle base camp and began scouring the internet for an identification to our find. All right, guys, so we have looked up Vespid wasps of Latin America, and I found a great site. And I have found out what this is. What is it? It is not a new species. It is actually called the Executioner wasp. What? The Executioner Wasp. Talk Whoa. about a horrific name, right? Man, that sounds, that sounds like it's something to be considered for the sting index. Well, when I look at the insect sting pain index, it does not appear that this is on there. Now there is a warrior wasp, there's the tarantula hawk, the bullet ant, there are some species of paper wasps. This is considered to be the largest paper wasp species in all the neotropical environments, but it is not on Schmidt's sting pain index. This is crazy. Maybe, maybe this is a better conclusion to the story. You know, the warrior wasp did not take down the bullet ant. The bullet ant, in my opinion, is still the reigning king of sting, but something like this with those stripes and that menacing looking face, man, if this had a more powerful sting, that would truly deserve its place on the throne. Don't you think? Let's think about it. Let's think about it. The Executioner Wasp. That name alone is enough to drive fear through anyone that hears it. Hailing as the largest of the neotropical paper wasp species, this insect is a giant. It carries the cryptic moniker in relation to its swift attack and decapitation methods for dismantling helpless caterpillars, which it in turn feeds to its brood of alien-like larvae. Those who have been witness to this massive wasp have wisely kept a safe distance. And while this is not a newly discovered species, when it comes to the powerful punch in its venomous sting, this nightmarish looking insect has not officially been ranked on the sting pain index. So today, the chapter you have all been waiting for is about to be written. I'll tell you what, if this is more painful than the bullet ant, that is it. I'm doing no more stings after this. Honestly, probably doing no more stings after this regardless. This has to come to an end at some point. But I would not have been able to walk away from Costa Rica having found this wasp and not have been stung by it. So, here we go. Mark is giving me the signal. It is time to get stung by the executioner. Here we go. There it is. The executioner, and he is waiting. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh yeah. I mean, I built myself up at this point. There is no turning back. Are you guys ready? I'm ready if you are. Okay, I'm going to place the capsule inside of the entomology net. There we go. 
And I'm going to get the wasp out with the forceps. Okay, wasp is in the net. Got it. All right, there we go, I've got it, perfect hold. And that stinger is absolutely massive. Okay, I'm gonna move the epinephrine pen off to the side here. Let's keep the glass capsule accessible so I can quickly cover it back up. That is a very large wasp right there. You can see it's completely calmed down at this point. It is just waiting to inflict a sting. Okay, are you ready? Oh, boy. Yep, I'm ready. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Executioner Wasp. Here we go. One, two, three. Executioner Wasp packs an unbelievable wallop. Man, the initial impact is definitely just as sharp, if not worse, than a tarantula lock. Look, you can see the blood underneath the skin right now. My arm is throbbing. It is on fire. It is about... Oh my God, that hurts. Oh, it is burning uncontrollably. Oh. It is definitely as bad as the tarantula hawk. There's no question about it. And it is without question sharper, sharper than a bullet ant. I think we've got a new king here, folks. It's just a matter of how long is this pain gonna last? Talk to me about the smelling heat. Hold on. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, stop burning. Oh. It's getting worse! Ah, you little devil. Ah, oh, the executioner lives up to its names. Oh my gosh. You see the blood coming out. I can't talk. I can't talk. It's so much pain. I'm getting cut the camera. Ah. Goodness, look at this white spot. Wow. That is the worst reaction you've ever had. Uh, Holy cow. Uh, we have a new Mario. king of sting, folks. Mario, are you seeing this? He is the king. Oh, I can't feel my arm. Do I need to be worried here? Are you, are you gonna be able to pull? Mario, what do you think? Mario. <laughs> Ah, the burning does not stop. Ah, that 
that may be the most painful sting I have ever taken. No, let me rephrase that. That is the most painful sting I've ever taken. The bullet ant has been dethroned. The executioner is king. Ah. Uh. have you ever seen him react like this? You see the white? <laughs> yeah. But it's like scarring, just like the bullet ant. Yeah. There's scarring, but there's blood coming out. Fire. Is like a gila monster? It is a different pain than the bullet ant. This is a searing pain. It is attacking my blood cells. It is breaking down the membranes around those blood cells, and the cell particles are spilling out into my arm right now, sending firing neurons screaming to my brain right now that you are in a lot of pain. A lot of pain going on right here, guys. A lot of pain. Are you out of the woods yet? It's extremely hard right now. The initial sting and the shock that came from the sting of the executioner was more painful than anything I've experienced before. And I think I, I think I said it when I was on the ground over there that the bullet ant has been dethroned and the new king of sting is the executioner. And I am bending the knee right now to this insect because not only is its look intimidating, but its sting is the real thing. It is screaming at the moment screaming, searing pain. So where the warrior wasp felt like pins and needles and the bullet ant felt like somebody taking a hot poker and sticking it into your arm. This is like flesh peeled back. No, I don't know what it feels like to have flesh peeled back, but I can imagine that this is what it is. You see, I can't even like move my hand right now. My whole arm is in such agonizing pain and it's starting to itch like right here. Like I could feel the venom working its way up similar in the sense to how the Gila monster's venom work. And it is hot to the touch. Mark, just tell them how hot my forearm is right now. Oh wow. <clears throat> you can see right here actually. Mario, can you get a shot of that? Try to get that. You there, see this? There's, there's a residual reaction <clears throat> occurring up your arm. Is there, is it... Now in this instance, I do not know if the pain is going to last for more than an hour, more than five hours, more than 36 hours, but I can tell you right now that the pain has lasted longer than the tarantula hawk, and at this moment, it is worse than the bullet ant. So, in this immediate presentation, I am declaring the executioner wasp as being the king of sting, as it currently stands. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you an outro, because I'm starting to have trouble composing my words here. Yeah, we're, we're concerned, man. You're not out of the woods, you know, are you? I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, this is intense. The prolonged effects of the executioner's venom lasted for nearly a week, as just a single sting packed enough potency to rot a small crater in my forearm. This has gotta be the longest hike back to base camp. I've ever had. Oh, my arm is screaming in pain right now. The residual pain was followed by persistent itching and ultimately a scar that today I still carry with me as a reminder that this neotropical paper wasp is a foe unlike any I had ever faced. Uh, you still filming? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to remember this? The executioner! Oh, my arm. It's throbbing right now. Fix that water. Oof. Ah. The planet is teeming with more insect species than are known to man, and a fair share of them are armed with venomous stingers. My climb up the insect sting pain index 
and my destiny to encounter and face the Executioner Wasp was a journey I could have never predicted. Yet it successfully captured and captivated the minds of millions upon millions of viewers. And while I know you all enjoyed watching me squirm around on the ground in pain, I hope that you also walked away with a new sense of respect and understanding for these fascinating creatures. Without my incredible crew, Justin Schmidt's brilliant Sting Roadmap, and the wonderful Coyote Pack cheering me on, none of this would have been possible. So thank you all for joining me on this journey. I certainly have enjoyed the ride. Now to firmly answer your burning question, yes, for me, this really is the end. Is there a more painful sting out there? Crawling across the desert sands or flying through the humid rainforests? Possibly, probably. But that is a mystery I feel is best left to live on. Crowning the Executioner Wasp as the new King of Sting is as far as I am willing to go. And in my opinion, this truly was one sting to rule them all.